you are back here on the program. So it's nice having uh, the Hill on the show. It's the strangest moment when you realize, hey, that guy that I played basketball with in school is now suddenly the president of the United States of America. But of course that's going to happen. Sometimes you wake up one day and realize the people you started out with uh, have gone on to do very interesting things. And then the question of what's your dynamic like changes or comes up. I want to explore that tonight on the panel. <laughs> Legend Paul Birds, Greg Lawrence, Hello. Naomi Speakers. Hi. Whoa, what is that? Can I see? Let me see that sweater. What's oh the, yeah, that? this is my bunny Christmas sweater, right? <laughs> yeah. See? A lot of love. Oh, oh my God! Come on. Well, it's because it's gonna get hot and sweaty, isn't it? Yeah. Don't let. Don't wreck the hair. All right. Right? Who's the cutest they couple match ever? perfectly. Yeah. I, uh, uh, am I wearing your Christmas sweater because you need to show the people who gave you this Christmas sweater that your Chris their gift is going to good use? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah big time, big time. Super Thanks. Awesome. Thanks, Auntie Mari. <laughs> So you, you have a friend who ends up in an enviable position. I'm sure that's happened to all of you. I'm sure sometimes in, the, in, this, in certain contexts, you are that friend. We don't, has, has it changed the relationship you have with them? My problem is that I, I, I don't have any friends who are in enviable positions. <laughs> they're, all, they're all Canadian actors. They don't have cars. This one rode a bicycle yeah. here. And I'm doubling you home. How, what about you? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, like, you're I mean, friends with Gian. You must use that to your advantage oh, all the time. Oh, are you kidding? Yeah, yeah, I mean, free Gian. tickets to everything. He's a but ticket to just anything. To, to, <laughs> yeah. to joy, but... Uh, uh, <laughs> what, I've been on a hockey team, a beer league hockey team, for 10 years, and with that group in the room, there's just so many different talents beyond hockey. In fact, there's very little hockey talent. And one of the guys is a doctor. Now, what is the, the, what is the hardest thing to get in Canada besides kicking out a mayor? An x-ray or an MRI, right? Exactly, yeah. MRI. So whenever we hurt each other, this guy owns his own MRI machine. Come on! I'm, I'm not kidding. <laughs> So next morning, we're in before the crowd, and, and I amazing. screwed up my knee, and I think we got a, a photo. There it is. Now, check it out. Now, look at where my kneecap is. It's that tennis ball, like ping pong yeah. ball-like thing Whoa. floating way. Whoa. It should be hovering right over the joint. That's a picture of the moon. And no, and, and that's because of my doctor friend. That's taking advantage of friends. That, did it, yeah. But did it affect your, your friendship when you tried to get something out of somebody? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I remember I was I was friends with a fairly famous musician in uh, Vancouver, and I got uh, free I got free tickets, free merch, and free syphilis. The truth yeah. is, Grant, uh, like... syphilis is never free. <laughs> Do you have any, any of those, uh, relationships backfire on you? Uh, no, I don't. I, mean... I don't. I mean. I can think of more ways that it's actually spun into a real positive situation. Uh, Gian was mentioned, Gian Gameshi. My wife was mentioned. My, because I am, fr this is true, because I am friends with Gian Gameshi, I now have a wife and baby. That's how it I'm works sure at the CBC. The That's how it works. Gian is the guy that got you your wife and baby. That, from meeting him, I got a wife and <laughs> baby. If, if Gian's responsible for your baby, you have questions for your wife. Uh, uh, yeah. We're going to get mini Machiavelli with the friendships right after this. That's right, my friends. We have a live studio audience, and it's a lot of fun. It's even better, too, because, my friends, it is free. So free. I'd love it if you join us. Go to strombo.com slash tickets to find out how. We are back here on the program. Uh, we're, we're talking about friendship today and when friendships are complicated because of, well, whether or not you get perks from them, they get I don't mean friends with benefits. It's a very different kind of friend uh, that offers perks, although very valuable friend nonetheless. Um, if you want to see, like, like, Bill Gates hanging out with Ludacris, you got to check out this Tumblr page called Awesome People Hanging Out. Go to our website, strombo.com, and we've got this. It's just a bunch of random awesome people all in the same picture together. And it shows how friendships can be interesting and what they can give each other. Like, what does Ludacris have to offer Bill Gates except for street cred? Weed. Right? <laughs> I guess that's a good point. Yeah. But Although, Bill, let's be honest, Bill Gates can score weed wherever he is. <laughs> he sure can. <laughs> what happens if you have a friend who, let's say you, you get a friend you score weed of and you're no longer interested in rocking the ganj and you need to get out of that relationship? The idea of getting out of a friendship that is no longer beneficial to either of you guys. What do yeah, you do? Yeah, well, I mean, if we follow uh, Canadian politics, especially on the municipal level, you pay them off. Right. Yeah. Hush, right. hush money. Yeah. 
or they go missing. Or they just disappear. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. It's true, but let's laugh it up. Yeah, they, uh, they can't laugh because the <laughs> yeah. sadness is immense, yeah, exactly. right? Um, I think you just back away slowly from the friendship and stop being available for anything other than what they were good for, like a tax person, really good times in the accounting season, and then I'm super busy. A tax person? Yeah. We call them accountants. Okay. That's the <laughs> I'm gonna hand yeah, for the panel, right. everybody. Uh, Paul Bates, by the way, has got this sci-fi comedy podcast called The Illusionoid, which you gotta go to illusionoid.com. You can check out Grant's new book, it's called The Latest, The Lonely End of the Ring. Confessions of a Reluctant Goldie, aren't they all? We can get it in stores and online. You can follow him on Twitter or just ask Gian, and Gian will tell you where Grant is. And of course, Naomi Sneakers, season three of Mr. D, premieres February 24th on CBC. Always a pleasure to have you, Canada. Good things, Canada.